everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Petra and today I am going to talk to you guys about some simple ways that you can protect your skin from the Sun so it's starting to finally get a little warmer here in the Northwest I live in Portland Oregon and we don't get a lot of Sun throughout the years everybody knows which I actually kind of love because I run and I love that nice cool weather outside uh, for <laughs> for running in. I'm not a big, I'm actually not a big heat fan. I don't mind the sun, but the heat is what gets to me. So anyways, I've always protected my skin though, like from the sun. I mean, you can get out there 10 to maybe 20 minutes a day to get that vitamin D without protection, but that's really all you need. You really don't need more than that. All right, so the first thing that you can do is easy. Sunglasses, you guys, and sorry, you can see all my lighting and blah, 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 whatever, but anyway, sunglasses, protect your face. These are nice and big, so they protect a big portion of my face. They are UVA and UVB protecting. I probably just screwed up my hair there. There we go. <laughs> That's better. Uh, so UVA, UVB protecting for your eyes and around your face. I wear sunglasses all year. So even if there's a glare outside, I'll keep a few pairs around because I like to have them like wherever I am to protect my eyes. I wear them when I go running, I wear them in the car, uh, outside on my lunch break, whatever. So just wear those sunglasses. It's, it's really an easy thing to do. And all year, not just when it's sunny. The next thing is some foods, which I don't know if very many people know. I'm sure a lot of people know this, but foods, once again, from the inside out. I'm big on protecting yourself from the inside out, not just on the outer layer of your body, but inside. So getting good, nutritious foods. Here are a few that I'm gonna tell you that are uh, really good at actually protecting your skin from sun damage. One of them is watermelon, which I've been kind of munching on as I've been filming. So, um, so yeah, I love watermelon and I like to just kind of cut it in half like this and like eat out of it kind of like a bowl. Uh, it's great for the spring and summertime. I mean, when you're outside and it's hot, and this is just refreshing. And this has lycopene in it. And what that is, is a phytochemical that helps protect against the sun rays. So you get more of this in your system, the better off your skin's gonna have defense against the sun. So anyways, I just love this. I'm gonna just keep munching on it. Mm. That's a good one. The next thing that is similar, well, it's not similar, but it has lycopene in it as well, are uh, tomatoes. So these are the heirloom ones that I buy from like New Seasons or Trader Joe's. Um, these are super yummy and they're just pretty. There's so many fun colors. I like them because they're multicolored and they're just kind of cute and they're just really easy to eat. Wash your fruit. I know I didn't eat that. I mean, I know I didn't wash that. And these are always really good, like if you can find them out of somebody's garden, or your own garden. Um, they're always better that way. I mean, store-bought is fine. It's usually okay in the spring and summertime, but they're always best to get out of a garden. They taste the best then, but they also have lycopene. And what I love to do with tomatoes is, well, I'll throw them on my breakfast salads, of course, or I like to chop these up in half. These are a little small, so I might not chop them and I'll just like drizzle like some olive oil, I'll like julienne some basil and throw some salt and pepper on top of these. And I love them as like just a little snack. So those are another good thing that protects your skin. The other food or vegetable, I should say, broccoli, you guys, broccoli is one of the most nutritious vegetables I think that you can have just in your diet in general, but it has something in it called sulforaphane, which is a compound that also protects against sun rays and getting sun damage and sunburns. Um, I really like to eat broccoli by cutting off this like fibrous layer here because you can eat the stalks. Do not be 
a snob and just think, oh, I only eat the florets, because these are good, obviously, but the stalk is really good too, so what I'll do is I'll shave off the fibrous part, and then I will cut off the end, and then I will chop this up like chips, and I'll either eat that raw, or I will saute them in a pan with like garlic, and salt and pepper, some olive oil. It's just really simple to cook and eat and it's really nutritious and that sulforaphane comes out a little bit more when you cook broccoli. So, excellent. I'm so big on like eating. Eating, eating veggies to protect your skin from the sun. Who would have thought? Anyway, so that is the foods and then the last thing is sunscreen, you guys. So these are two that I really have been liking lately. Uh, the first one is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch. This is SPF 55 and I will wear sunscreen when I go out running, even if it is like a cloudy day. Um, I try to get SPF in my moisturizers and my foundations that I wear. This one is cheaper than the other one I'm gonna talk about. This one probably is about eight to twelve dollars for the sunscreen and it's just nice. It just absorbs well and it's lightweight and I just really like how it feels because I really hate that really tacky feeling of sunscreens on my skin. So this one is good. This one, I mean, I think this is a pretty good drugstore version. This next one is really excellent. I really like this brand, Drunk Elephant. Uh, I'm working on getting more products from this brand. It's just a very spendy uh, skincare line. Uh, the thing I really like about this though is that all of the ingredients are really responsibly sourced. So I appreciate that. It's cruelty free. Um, and this one, I really like using, this is the one I'll use for like my face, it's good for sensitive skin, it has really amazing oils in it, let's see, I think it has like a raspberry seed oil, it has a sunflower shoot extract, and all those really help with like fine lines, so it has some other benefits in it than just protecting from the sun, but what this has in it is zinc oxide, and Regular zinc oxide actually leaves kind of a white cast on your skin sometimes, but it's really good at protecting against the UVA rays. So those are the ones that are really damaging that come through like your, your windows and glass. And I'll talk about those, the difference between UVA and UVB rays here in a second. But uh, this one is really good because it protects against UVA, but it's also what's called micronized and that is really hard to find and this actually runs it's three ounces and this is about 30 to 35 dollars i think it's low 30s how much this costs so it's not cheap but it's actually cheaper than a lot of the other micronized zinc oxide sunblocks out there so that one it won't leave that like it doesn't leave that like really weird white cast or weird feel. It feels a little bit tacky, but it feels a lot more comfortable on the skin than some of those other sunscreens. So that one I actually will like mix into my foundation or, or my um, like moisturizers and things like that. Um, it's not the best to do that because you are diluting the SPF that way. Sometimes I don't want to have that like really sticky feel, but it's better to get something in or on protecting your skin than nothing. So, so like your typical like banana bow or like copper tone, those have things called parabens in them and if those get into your bloodstream, those have been known to cause like women breast cancer, um, men can have like, you know, testosterone issues and stuff like that. So sometimes sunscreens can even, you know, be cancer causing with the ingredients in them. So be careful about the kind of sunscreens that you do choose out there. That's why I think the zinc oxide ones are the best and if you don't mind that like white cast and spending less as opposed to getting it, you know, my, or finding one micronized, then just just get it because it's just it is really protecting on your skin. The, the regular zinc oxide without it being micronized. 
so. So anyways, those are the products and the things that I have that are simple that you can do every day to protect your skin. Once again, it's really important. Um, I'm gonna actually link a video up here in the cards uh, that's by Lisa Eldridge, who is one of my favorite makeup artists. And she has a lot of information on sunscreens that I'm gonna link and it's just really informative and she lists other sunscreens that are out there. Um, unfortunately, she does have a few that we can't get here in the States, but there are some that we can. Uh, it's really sad because I feel like we're a little backwards here where the FDA allows all this crap chemicals into our foods and things like that and they're banned elsewhere in the world but then when it comes to like protecting our skin they don't let in a lot of these good ingredients so we're kind of losing out on these like you know top of the line ingredients that would be really good in having protecting ourselves against the sun especially when the ozone is getting you know thinner and thinner and we need more sun protection so there are you know she talks a little bit about how they're lobbying a bit and things like that to try and get some of that stuff here but she's just really lovely to listen to she's British and has just a lovely voice so you know if you want to just relax and listen to her for a bit give you some good information that's a good video oh what I wanted to talk to you guys about was the difference between UVA and UVB rays so I'm gonna pull up an article here that I actually um, really like and it's just really it gives you just a real quick definition of um, of the difference but as I said the UVA rays are the ones that are the most damaging those are the ones that like come through your window or like when you're driving or glass and they just they they penetrate really deep into your skin so they can get down to that like dermis layer which is like your second layer of skin um, and so what it says here is UVA rays contribute to the development of cancer by increasing reactive oxygen species, which can in turn damage your DNA, which obviously if you get damaged DNA, then you can end up getting some cancer and blah, blah, blah. So you want to make sure that um, your sunblocks are UVA and UVB protecting. Zinc oxide is a really good ingredient that protects against that UVA ray. Um, and then UVB rays, they penetrate um, through the epidermis, which is the outermost layer of your skin, and it says that um, they can just increase your risk of cancer by direct photochemical damage to your DNA, resulting in mutations in your genes. So, and that continu that contributes to like the breakdown of collagen. So you'll get like premature wrinkling and aging, and who wants that, right? So, anyways, protect that skin. Again, it is so important to protect if you're young and you are in your teen years or early 20s, really, really be smart when you're out there in the sun. I know that it's fun in the summer and going out and blah, 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 whatever, you know, going to the beach and things like that. And you don't, you know, you don't always think about it, but even on cloudy days, get that sunscreen on and protect 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 all right you guys so that is it i am so glad that you stopped by to get a little information about ways to protect your skin from the sun so i hope you liked the video and i will see you guys again next time bye or whatever it's just it's just not that's not what you want to do or you're gonna end up wrinkling and old looking when you're getting close to your 40s or 50s it's just going to get worse and worse